And this time I got some instant baseball treasures. So I'll find the ultimate Babe Ruth card. <laughs> I know I'm not going to get this, but this has 20 random packs from 1952 to the present. Well, we all know that's going to be all junk wax packs, but hey, I have fun opening this stuff, and I know you guys enjoy watching it. So I decided, hey, why not give it a try? So 20 packs from 52 to present, which means all 20 will be from the present. One autograph or game used card, one vintage card from the 50s, one vintage card from the 60s, one gem mint graded Hall of Fame card, and the wax packs bonus of a vintage vintage pack. So, hey, this feels heavy. I love it. I think... I'm hoping uh, my luck, which is not very good, as you know, <laughs> my luck is should come around and maybe I get something good here. So let's not waste any more time and let's open it up. And I lost my screwdriver to open it up, so I'll be right back. All right, since I cannot find my lucky screwdriver, I got to use the crappy utility knife. So, hey, why not? Let's open it up. I'll be careful, as you know. So it won't be as lucky as my lucky screwdriver. And I gotta find that after taping this video. Man, I gotta have that. That's like my lost toy, you know? You gotta open it up with my lucky screwdriver. That's half the fun. All right, we got this open. Man, I bumped it because I don't have my lucky screwdriver. <laughs> All right, let's open this up. I think I broke the seal. There it is, broken. Let's open it, and let's see what we get. There's the top. We're going to get Panini Baseball 2015. So I'm going to put this on the side. And there's our first one, Panini Contenders 2015. Oh, boy. I don't even know if I want to open that. That's uh, not even base. That's uh, college and all that. You know what? I might not even open that one. Oh, I might save that for a winner. Up next, we got some score. We got some 1994 score. So there we go. Series one. Another cheapy pack. Oh, let's see what we get next. We get a big old jumbo pack of 1993 Dunross. So we get a little thick pack there. So we'll take that. I know it's mass produced. Up next, Ted Williams card, 1994. You know, I don't mind opening these. I mean, they're kind of chintzy, but hey, you know, they're not bad. Let's open it up and have some fun with that one. 12 packs. And I got some spot UV coating. <laughs> Make it extra foily. <laughs> oh, let's see what we got here. We're going to get, oh, we're going to get some flare. 1993 flare. I love opening those, as you know. Trying to get the set, so that's nice. We'll, we'll look forward to opening that up. And we're going to get 2020 Baseball Updated Series. So, <laughs> of course I get 2020 Baseball Update, because that's all I've been getting lately for modern stuff. Oh, boy. All right, up next is 1998 Fleer Tradition. So that's kind of cool. I haven't opened those before, so... That'd be nice to open up. So up next, 93 Pinnacle Baseball Series 1. So we're going to get we're getting stuff mostly from the 90s, that's for sure. Some updated ones. There's a 2009 Tops Baseball Series 2. So I'm looking forward to that. Man, we're going to get, what is that? Oh, that's the, all right, we're going to save that for later. I'm trying to get the packs here. Up next, we're going to get, oh, yeah, 1988 Tops. Most overproduced pack in the world. So we will take that. We're going to open that up. We got some gum goodness there. And up next, we're going to get, oh, yeah, 1989 score. The most overproduced set in the world. We will add that to our list. Uh, next, we're going to get some Upper Deck. We're going to get some 1993 Upper Deck Baseball, you know. I'm thinking of getting a box of those 93 Upper Decks. I know they produce so much of them, but it'd be fun to open up on on uh, YouTube here. So up next, oh yeah, can't go without some Stadium Club Baseball. This one's from 1992 Series 1. Man, all the funny goodness. Of, oh yeah, my dreaded 1992 Studio. Well, it's better than 91s, but 92 Studio Cards. We'll open that up. No. 
And I'm trying to save that last pack because that's all the, oops, the insert and all that. So I'm going to move that to the side. Um, we got some 1990 Don Ross. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that. And we got some baseball greats from Swell. So I actually got an autograph from the Swell. So I have never knew they did a, base, a baseball pack of it. So that's going to be an interesting to open. We'll save that. We'll get some nice heritage. 2015. And it's a hobby pack. So as you know, I collect heritage. And uh, oh, you know what? Boo, this is minor league. <laughs> Today's MILB. So my, yeah, there it is. Minor league baseball. I'll still open that one up. So up next, we got some 86 Donruss. Hey, we'll take that. I love 86 Dunross, so I'm looking forward to opening that pack. And we also got 91 Fleer, those dreaded 91 Fleer yellow cards. Blech. And uh, last, we got some 92 Fleer Ultra Series 2. So how are we going to open this? I'm not going to open this one up. I'm going to save that for a giveaway. Uh, maybe if you guys are interested, I will do that as a giveaway to you guys so someone can have that. Um, I don't like these cards at all. I don't even want to open it. So I'm going to put that aside um, for you guys. So Fleer, Fleer, Dunrest, Hubs, a weird old pack there. Uh, let's leave. So that's Dunrest. Dunrest. Oh, Dunrest, Dunrest. Tops. Upper deck. Score. Tops. Tops. That's score. We'll do Fleer, Tops, Fleer, Ted Williams, Dunruss, and Tops. So, we're going to do this first. We're going to open this, the upper deck because I only got one upper deck pack. So, let's open it up and have some fun with this, even though it's the most overproduced stuff in the world. But you never know. Hey, there we go. There's a good start. We're going to start on my buddy Sweet Lou Whitaker. I'm going to go get him signed. I got to. I heard he does. I got to pay a little bit. But, man, I, one of my favorite players. You got to get signed. And we're going to get some gloss loss here. Yep. Oh, boom. We're going to get Dale Murphy there with some minor gloss loss. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that gloss loss. So there he is. Dale Murphy, Murphy from the Philadelphia Phillies in all gloss loss form. Oh, all these are these are bad. Almost feels like they uh, reopened them. Huh, that's weird. And there is Real Cormier of the St. Louis Cardinals. And we're going to get some teammates, some Latin stars from the Texas Rangers. So I see Jose Canseco there. I see Juan Gonzalez. I see Ivan Rodriguez and Rafael Primero. And too bad that is gloss loss. That is too bad. Up next, in total gloss loss form, Todd uh, Four is right. Oh, the Baltimore Oreos. Man, man. Oh, gloss loss. Yeah. Kenny Rogers of oh, the Rangers. We're going to also get Dan Walters of the Padres. Maybe I don't want to get a box of this because if they're all gloss loss, I'm not going to like it. Ah, Junior Felix of the Angels. Yeah. Kevin Seitzer of the Brewers. More gloss loss coming your way. Kevin Mitchell right there. And all gloss loss for him. He's going to be gloss loss on both ends there. And yeah, we're going to get Willie McGee from the Giants and gloss loss. More gloss loss of Chad Curtis from the California Angels. If it comes off ever. Come on. Come on, you stinky little bugger. All right. Up next is John Smoltz in all gloss loss form. So worthless card there. And let's see. Last two cards is Geronimo Piana of the Cardinals and David Justice all in gloss loss form. So all those cards are totally worthless. Oh, man, that's too bad. All right, let's do some score. Let's do some. Let's do the cheapy baseball one here first. At least this one we know when I have gloss loss because they weren't glossy back in 1989. So we got Dick Schofield 
and Brian Frazier, Tony Pena, Robin Yunth of the Brewers. We get a lot of Robin Yunth lately. Maybe we have to get some Robin Yunth club. Hey, there's Mike Schmidt! Yes, we get Mike Schmidt card. Who is Mike Schmidt? Second pack. Come Who's on. Mike Schmidt? Bro, how do you respect Mike Schmidt? I mean, what are you talking about? I don't know who Mike Schmidt is. I love it. The Chuck Norris of baseball, Mike Schmidt. We will take him all day long. And we got Rick Mahler. And we got Old Man Sutton. Don Sutton. And we're going to get Tom Foley there. And, and man, come on. We're going to get Dale Mahornick of uh, the Rangers. Dave Lepier of the Padres. Tracy Jones. Larry Parrish. Geronimo Barrero, rookie card. Charlie Hayes, rookie card. Yeah, we're going to end it off with a Matt Williams. So, hey, not too bad for getting a Mike Schmidt. Adding it to my Schmidt collection. It's growing very rapidly. So, up next is 1993 Pinnacle. I always like these. They're actually very nice cards. They're just, again... So overproduced. Now, I know there's inserts in here, so we'll look out for that. Barry Larkin. And I'm going to be every which way but loose here. So Dennis Martinez of the Expos. Andy Bennis. Hey, nice, nice. Mark McGuire there. So there's a little value. We'll take Mark any day of the week. Tom Pagnozzi from the Cardinals. Larry Harris. Delano DeShields. Julio Varia. And yeah, we got Willie Wilson. Louis Rivera. And yeah, we're going to get a now and then of Eddie Murray. Very nice. Look at that smile, man. I guess because he's on the Mets, not on the Orioles, apparently. Because he likes the Mets better than the Orioles because he's smiling. Very nice. Just a regular card there. So kind of like a tribute. Oh, very nice. We'll take that. And we got Jonathan Hurst, Ken Ryan, rookie card, and Sam Militio of the Yankees. Oh, there's that one. Not a bad pack. Got a McGuire. Got some good players. We'll take it. All right, all right. We've got more score here. We're going to do the 95, 95, 94 score. So look for the Dream Team, randomly inserted, plus the foily card. You can't have enough of the foily cards. Let's see here. Let's go and break it. And we're going to start with Corey Schneider of the Dodgers. And that's probably our glossy one. Oof, look at that. Ah, oh, we're going to stick two. And that's a Cal Ripken Jr. with a gloss loss. Oh, this is not stored well. Gary Sheffield. And Bill Spire. There we get Will the Thrill in gloss loss form. And we're going to get a. Oh, it's going to be on the gold card, which is going to be Gloss Lost. Bah! And it's a Benito Santiago. Oh, come on. That's a gold rush. That's the gold card. As you know, in the 90s, it was all about the gold parallel sets. So very nice, even though there's a little loss on there. But we'll take it. Eric Pappas. That's a 93 rookie. And more Gloss Lost coming our way here. Uh, uh, uh. Ugh, man. Danny Darwin. Man. Rick Honeycutt. And Kenny Rogers of the Rangers. And we're going to get Ruben Amara Jr. from the Phillies. And more gloss loss here. Chris Gomez, rookie card from the Detroit Tigers. Ricky Bones. And that last card in all gloss lost form. Oh, jeez. It's going to be the Yankee Stadium. So, very nice. There it is. There's the checklist. And all gloss lost form. Ah, <laughs> oh, these dreaded glossy cards. Man, they suck. All right, let's do this next. Let's do Dunross. All right, we got that big thick pack. Let's do studio first. Well, here we go. Look at the studio cards. And I didn't care for this year either. They got better as they went along, but man, just, I don't care for these. Larry Walker, Bill Wegman, 
Brett Saberhagen, Kirby Puckett. So we're getting some decent players out of this one at least. Paul Sorrento, Keith Miller, Robbie Thompson. He's loving his bat there, apparently. <laughs> He's hugging it like it's a, it's a teddy bear. Oh, we got a hair just series of Cal Ripken Jr. So that one's going to be nice. That one's going to have some value. BC7, insert card. That's kind of cool there in the Browns uniform, St. Louis Browns. Pretty neat. I like it. I'll add that to my collection, that's for sure. It's a very nice card there. Roberto Kelly, all I'm thinking about his game. <laughs> Doug Drabeck, Dave Henderson, and Tony Gwynn. So that was actually not a bad pack for, for studio cards, so we will take that. Up next, 1993, Series 1, and it is a thick pack. It's a nice fat packs. Fat packs before they were fat packs. Oh, we will take it. Oh, let's see here. We're going to get a checklist to start it off there. We're going to get two checklists. Come on. Get were two checklists in there. Come on now. All right, now the real cards. Dave Hansen, Terry Pendleton, Mickey Mordon, Mordon. Donnie, Jerome Barrera, Bob Tewksbury, Kip Gross, man, are we going to go all the opposite way here? Nope, just that card. And come on. And Thomas Howard, and Kent Mercher, and oh, they're all going to be upside down. All right, let's live it around. Brett Barbie, Alice Burks, Kevin Apier, Sean Barton, Jack Clark, Steve Shiflett, Mike Boddick, Kevin Baez. I'm going to get a raid rookie of Dave Stanton. Roberto Kelly, Lance Johnson, Tim Leary, John Doherty, Richie Lewis, and Judas <laughs> Please. Another checklist. And Lloyd McLennan. So, not a good pack that one was. I didn't see anything really good in there. Uh, I think it was all commons. Maybe some semi stars in there. Uh, nothing really good in that one. So that was a bus pack. Up next, one of the most overproduced sets in the world 1990 Dennis. No. Let's see what we get here. No. There's a puzzle piece. Man, we're going to get. Glenn Allen Hill, John Morris, Andy Bennis. That's not a bad card right there, rated rookie. We'll take it. Terry Steinbeck, all-star. Uh, Dwight Gooden, that's a good one, too. Kurt Mangwing of oh, the Giants. Eric Hetzel, Deion James, Bob Walk, Mark Thurman, Bobby Thigpeg, Wally Beckman, Oh, there's Von Hayes. Come on. No one knows who Von Hayes is. <laughs> there he is. Von Hayes walks in here. You got one for Von Hayes. Dude, nobody knows who Von Hayes is. Man, relax. So get some Von Hayes love. Oh, got to play my clip there. You know that. Yeah, another blasted checklist. Ellis Burke's Diamond King and Aaron Jackson. So not horrible, but not bad here. Here I'm looking forward to 1986 Dunross. All right, let's get something good out of here. I have not opened many 86. For some reason, in my stupid childhoodness, I bought sets in 86. So I have all the sets, but I didn't buy any of the cards. I don't know why I did that, for just that year only. But So I am lacking a lot of 86s. So this is always fun when I open 86s. So Steve Balboni, Jackie Gutierrez, Tom Reynolds, Tom Brunanski, Mario Soto, Charlie Liebrandt, Calvin Sherardi, Gary Pettis, Sammy Stewart, Lee Mazuk, Rance Malkins, Bill Doran, Jay Howell, Dennis Rasmussen, and Rick Shu. So absolutely no one in that pack. So that pack was a major bust. So let's uh boy. Let's do the oddball ones. Let's start with this one here. Swell cards. Who remembers Swell? Uh, what year is this? Uh, 
Flavor prohibited. Good while supplies last. I wonder if they still have some, you know? I can get some binder cards, you know? I can never get enough binder cards or binder sleeves. Oh. All right, let's open this up. Same print in USA. Don't even know what year this is. So there's Jose Cardinal of the Indians. Tommy Trash of the Yankees. Bobby Richardson of the Yankees. Dave Gusti of the uh, Cardinals. Bill Mazeroski of the Pirates. Looks like he's got a big water chew there going on. Tito Francona of the Braves. Ricky Ashbourne of the Phillies. Claude Austin of the Dodgers. And Ken Singleton of the Mets. And we're going to end it off a Hall of Fame of Ed Roush. Because everyone remembers him, right? He played for White Sox, Indianapolis Hoosiers. There we go. Newark Peps, New York Giants, and Cincinnati Reds. So there he is in all Hall of Fame form. So they don't tell you what year this is. So I don't have to research that. I think I did before because I got an autograph of a card uh, from Ryan's Vintage Cards. So. We'll definitely keep the wrapper. You don't see these cards, the swell cards very often. At least I don't. Maybe there are tons of them out there, and I just don't realize it. All right, let's do the Ted Williams. If you recall, I got the awesome Mike Schmidt card of out of here. So we'll see if we get another Mike Schmidt card. You can never get enough Mike Schmidt. So these are all going to be no-named. Is that Vita Pinson? Yeah, it is Vita Pinson. And yeah, that's going to be from the Negro League. Uh, that's Jim Taylor. Um, there he is on the back. I don't know what team that's for. St. Paul Gophers. All right, we'll say that. There he is. And we're going to get someone yelling. <laughs> Who is that? That is Sam McDowell. He was an underrated pitcher, that's for sure. And what we got here? We got... Going north. Mike Schmidt! Wait a minute, it's Mike Schmidt! Yes! We got another Mike Schmidt! There we are. Very nice. Looks like a high school picture of him or college. So, another Mike Schmidt. We're going to add him to the side because you can never get a number, never enough of Mike Schmidt. So, up next, we got Dennis Delmer Ennis. And we're going to get Jason Muller. We're going to then get someone from the Washington Senators. Edward Frederick Joseph Yost. Because you got to have four names. That must be a Catholic because he has like four names. <laughs> All right. Up next, we're going to get uh, Rico Petroselli from the Red Sox. And we're going to get something from the Women's Baseball League there. Snooky Doyle. Come on. You got a name like Snooky Doyle. You got to love it. Play for the Rockford. Oh, very nice. The Rockford Peaches. I wonder if they named her after that movie, you know, League of Their Own. There he is, she is. Snooky Doyle. Gotta love it. Up next, uh, is that Randy Jones? Looks like Randy Jones from the Padres. And it is Randy Jones. And we're gonna get another Negro League. Um, Larry Brown. I remember Larry Brown, actually. I think he crossed over, if I recall. And there ain't the way out. Know, he played in 29 30. Uh, he was a member of the Chicago American N Giants, Negro National League champion in 1927. So there he is, Larry Brown. And the last card is going to be Tommy Agee. So those are interesting. And they got a Mike Schmidt! <laughs> All right, what are we going to do last? Do I want to do, we'll do Fleer. Let's say Tops. Everyone likes Tops. I'm saving the Flare for last because I love opening Flare. So let's open the dreaded 91 Fleers in all of yellow ugliness form. So whoever at the Fleer Corporation thought, hey, let's do bright yellow cards. That will look attractive. It should be fired. Well, he probably is because they don't make Fleer no more, but hey. There's Greg Myers, Matt Noakes, 
And there's Chris Hammond. Phil Clark. Mark Garner. Hey, here we go. Ken Griffey Jr. It's the kid. I am getting so many Ken Griffey Juniors. I'm starting a binder for him. I love him. He's the best. I love back-to-back -back good cards. We got Jose Canseco right afterwards, so we'll take that. Oh, we got Daryl Dalton. And Greg Biggio, so another decent card. So this is becoming a good pack from 91. Shane Obner. Chuck Carey. And Rick Aguilera. Chuck Krim. John Burke. And the sticker. Oh, that actually for uh, 91s, we will take that. So up next, we're going to do the 92. We'll go with the newer. And then we'll do the flare. I love flare. You know, like there's so much. I love it. Actually, I don't mind these cards either. I like these when I, I collected these. So 92 Ultra, and we're going to get maybe some slight gloss loss. They're kind of done. So checklist again. There's Derek Bell. And, yeah, they're going to be semi, semi gloss loss here. There we go. There's George Bell. We got Alex Cole. And Vaughn Hayes. Can ever get enough Von Hayes? <laughs> there we go. Mr. Hayes himself. We got to get him signed for sure now, too. Daryl Hamilton. And we got Kevin Ritz of the Tigers. Hector Vanilla. Rondo Perez. Junior Norba from the Mets. Man, these are sticking. I'm not getting major lot gloss loss, but they are sticking. Ken Hill and Freddie Benvaris and Tom Prince. And last card, if I can get it out, is Dan Pasqua. So no one in that one at all whatsoever. All right, here we go. Let's open that flare set. You know, I kind of love flare. Like I said. I'm gonna couple these packs and a couple of these cards. I, I'm gonna, I gotta do the set. I, these are just so sharp. They just produce so many of them. It's too bad. Man, look at that double seal for my protection and yours. Uh, let's see what we get here. Let's see if we get an insert like the last time. So we're gonna start it out with a Juan Guzman. And we're gonna get Juan Gonzalez and Norm Charlton. And, whoops, uh, Pedro Martinez of the Dodgers. Very nice card there. That's nice. And we're going to get Carlos Martinez. So this is the Martinez pack, apparently. <laughs> oh, we got Chad Kruder. Uh, is that the Tigers? Yep, it is. Oh, the Tigers. And we're going to get Roberto Hernandez. And we're going to get Greg Maddox. So very nice. Greg Maddox card. Dave Hollins. And we're going to get Joe Orsulik of the Mets. So no one really big there. But hey, goes towards my set. We'll take it. Up next is Fleer Tradition Series 2. Vintage 63 parallel set. Classic 63 parallel sets. All about 1963, apparently. 10 Mickey Mantle cards. So a bunch of inserts. There's actually a chance for an autograph in here. So let's see what we get here in the Fleer tradition. And man, if I can open it. And there's a promotion. We can exchange. We get one Fleer diamond point. Or if it's still good. I doubt it. There it is. One diamond point. Roberto Hernandez. Rawlings baseball with a genuine autograph. What? What'd you have to do for that? Collect 500 of them to get the baseball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, if anyone has 499 of them, send them my way and I will mail it in to get my autograph uh, Roberto Hernandez baseball. Probably not. Up next, Tom Gordon. Oh, I think I can remember these. And there's uh, my Soto Yoshi of the Mets. And we got Cliff Plate. Uh, that's a rookie card. Sterling Hitchcock of the Padres. And there's our vintage 63. 
That's going to be Livian Hernandez. Oh, the Florida Marlins. So now I kind of remember these because I think, yeah. yeah, very nice. Yeah, interesting. It's kind of a cool subset, I guess you want to call it that. Chuck Finley of the Angels. Bobby Abreu. Chuck Knobloch. Moses Alou. And Dave Wells. So nothing really special there either. Uh, what are you going to do? This is becoming a bus top. <laughs> bus box, that's for sure. That's the day of my lucky screwdriver. All right. Oh, I got to open this 2020 update. <laughs> Although all the vintage cards, I've been getting nothing but updates. So maybe I can get something good in an update at least. So here we go. There's Andrew McCutcheon. That's the all-star game. And we're going to get Albert Pujos of another all-star game card. Grace and Grayer, Grainer of the Detroit Tigers. And Curry Manila. And we got Zach Davies. Albert Pujols. So that's not a bad one. And we're going to get Adam Plucto of uh, the Cleveland Indians. And there's going to get a rookie card here of Tyler uh, Heinemann of the Baltimore, or sorry, San Francisco Giants. And we're going to get Austin Allen. And we're going to get uh, Cleavinger of the Cleveland Indians Chrome card. Oh, that's probably my insert. Turkey Red Chrome. Oh, there's that. We'll show the price in that. Maybe the odds, too, if I know what they are. Very nice. We'll take it. And we're going to get another Turkey Red. Now I know where the turkey reds are coming from. They're coming from the update sets. <laughs> I learned something today. <laughs> what do you know? Oh, there's uh, bat, met Bats, uh, Mookie Bats. There he is. There's the turkey red, number five. And we're going to get uh, Trace Thompson and Lane Thomas. And Freeway Victory for the Angels. There's a Mike Trout. So you can never go wrong with Mike Trout. David Price. And Greg Garcia of the Padres. Oh. All right, what am I going to open next? Well, I want to save it. I mean, the rest are kind of all junk. Now let's open up the Heritage Minor League cards. Yeah. I love Heritage. Don't love Heritage Minor Leagues, but who knows? Maybe I'll get someone good in here. Lewis Ortiz. Joe Gatto. Brandon Drury. Joey... Curletta. Oh, there's the strikeout leaders in the minor leagues. Taylor Cole, Aaron Blair, and Ben Lively. Man. Oh, look at that! We're going to get an autograph of Harold Ramirez. Very nice West Virginia power. Wow, we got a, we pulled an autograph. Even though it's a minor league card. Oh, there he is. There's the back. All right. What team? I don't, I don't know what the West Virginia Power team belongs to. Blah, 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 blah. West Virginia. Yeah, I don't know what team it's for. Maybe Pirates. Kind of Pirates kind of going on there. So, but West Virginia Power, Harold Ramirez. We will take that. I'll show the price on that. Um, very nice. We will take that. And we're going to get a Tony Kemp and Alex Blendio and Michael Geddes for the Fort Wayne Tin Caps. So there's that minor league car. We pull off a autograph. Wow. Like I said, I don't know him, so I'll have to look him up. And I will show the price, as you know, as I will. All right, 1992 Stadium Club. I love these, and I hate them at the same time. I love them, but, man, they produce produced so many of these. All right, here we go. Well, let's start here, because Robin Ventura, Stan Belinda, Jeff Treadway, Tom Hewlett. Man, they're all just every which way but loose. Come on. Jerry Brown, Kurt Wilkerson, Cecil Espy, Ron Curvice. Hey, we're going to get a Joe Giraldi of oh, the Cubs. Very nice. Scott Bales, 
Shane Mack, Henry Rodriguez, Mark Wallers, Bill Gulkson, and we're going to final end up with Jeff Brantley. So a whole bunch of nobodies pretty much. And that was a bit Robin Ventura, I would say. Ugh. All right. Let's do the 88 tops. Most overproduced set in the world. That was way too easy to open up, which scares the crap out of me. But we're going to eat some 88 gum now. There it is. Oh, yeah, 88 gum. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to get some gum love. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. All that cardboard goodiness. Mm mm mmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Keith Hernandez on the Mets. Ray Surridge. White Sox. Larry Brown on the Rangers. RJ Reynolds on the Pirates. Brian Smith. Joel Davis. Craig Minton. Mike Davis. Davey Jackson. Yeah, very nice. We got a Pete Rose there. We're going to take a Pete Rose, even though it's not worth much because it's an 88 tops. <laughs> Joel McKinnon. Chris James. Gary Lucas. Cecilio Garante and Bob Forsh. So, not much there besides the Rose. Last pack, 2009 Major League Baseball. 10 cards, 2009 Series 2 featuring Jackie Robinson. Uh, we opened up 09 before, so. Here we go. Let's see. It's uh, Howie Kendrick of the Angels. More Angels of Joan Figgins and Tyler T. Garden. And we're going to get Wilson Bennett of the White Sox. That yeah, looks like we're going to get another turkey red card. This time of uh, Walter Johnson of the Washington Senators. So now I know where all these turkey red cards I keep getting in my mystery bags come from. All the top stuff. So there he is, Mr. Johnson. Up next, we got Chase Utley. Bring this card to life at topstown.com. See back for code. What the heck? No. I doubt Topstown is around anymore. So, all right. So, it's probably an insert card of some sort. We'll give you the price on that. Class act. Dave Wright. Dave Wright wants you to work hard and get cards. So I'm not going to read the quote, but stay in school, says David Wright <laughs> of the Mets. So stay in school and be cool. Alex Cora of the Mets. We're going to get Paul Becco, Andy LaRoche. And the last card is Rick Enkel of the St. Louis Cardinals, so nothing there at all whatsoever. So that is the packs. Whole bunch of not much. That is for sure. Um, you know, pull the couple good cards. Couple Mike Schmitz, got me happy for it, and an autograph, which kind of actually shocked me. So <laughs> Harold Ramirez, I don't know him. So let's get this out. There is supposed to be the stars of all of everything. So here we go. All right. Set that down. There's the first card. That's going to be a Troy Tavuzlik of the Rockies. Signed till 2020. 19 of 36. And that's a relic card from the Rockies. So very nice from Troy for Troy. Oh, well, there it is. Got a game used memorabilia card of Troy Tulwitzki from Troy. 12 2012 tops triple threads baseball so very nice i'll show you the, the price on that number to 36 so that's not bad we'll take that up next hey this is gonna probably be my baseball set there so yeah a couple cards so let's see what we get we're gonna get started with the 69 national league home run layers of willie mccovey Richie Allen and Ernie Banks, and yeah, that's not the best shape in the world, but we will take it. Number six, 1969, home run leaders. Oh, very nice. 
Now, up next, and what do we have here? Uh, 1952 Bowman. Wow. Very nice. I will take that. I do not have a 52 Bowman. As you saw, I got a 50 Bowman, but not a 52 Bowman. I got some 55s. So this one's Howie Paulette of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Looks like there's some waxiness on there. So what are you going to do? Number 83 in the... 1952 series, so we will take that. I'll show the price on that. It's yeah, it's a little rounded, but it's not in horrible shape at all. There's no creases or anything, so we will take that. So 1952 of Howie Pollock. Wow, that's a decent pull. I'll take that all day long. Uh, so very nice. And this is going to be our PSA 9, and it's going to be a Burt by 11. Gem Mint number 10 from PSA. Wow, 2,000 archives of Burt by 11. I'm getting a lot of Burt by 11s lately. So I'm going to add it to my Burt by 11. I got the autograph, and now I got a PSA 10 of Burt by 11. So I'll show actually the PSA price on that if they have it. Uh, so. That's from 2002 Topps Archives. I love Topps Archives, so we'll take that. There's the back. Oh, very nice. We will take that card. So that is it. Tell me what you thought. Leave a comment. No, I don't know what to feel about it. Um, I don't have to, like I said, I'll show the prices on some of the major cards here. That is for sure. I think I paid 150, 120 bucks. I'm sorry, 120 bucks for this all in. Let me know. You think it was worth it? Not worth it? I can get another one of these. He said he would sell me another one. So, you know, it's fun. You get to open a whole bunch of junk wax. You get some decent cards. I mean, we got two Mike Schmitz, and well, there's a Mike Keith underneath there too. But we all we care about is Mike Schmidt. But you know, there's some decent cards in there. So. Let me know what you think. If you like what I'm doing, you know, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. We are so close to uh, the giveaway here. I just need a few more subscribers, and I'll do that $200 or 200 subscriber giveaway. So you know what it's going to be. If you choose baseball, you're going to get a good little package there. So thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying collect what you love.